Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigorelli and this is Vigorelli Institute. Now, last video we talked about Dr. Haas. Uh, he's kind of a supporting character to our main character, Dorian, but, you know, I prefer to write in an ensemble fashion. It's just the way I do things. Don't care if you don't like it. Okay? Now, next up is uh, the uh, another kind of side character. Her name is uh, Detective Lara Monroe. Okay? Uh, by the way, this is in my book, uh, The Hidden Race, which is the first of a three-part series that I am writing. Book two, it's called Stonecutter, is in the beta phase right now as I record this, and it should be ready for publishing by about Christmas. Hooray. Okay? Uh, link will be in the description for uh, The Hidden Race. You can go ahead and purchase that on Amazon. Now, uh, Doctor, uh, excuse me, Detective Laura Monroe is in her mid-40s. She is a detective with the Kid Drawn City Police Department. And uh, she's also African-American. What? Are you going for woke points? No. I actual when I created the characters, um, the way I set it up is I had to have certain things happen, but I didn't want to make everybody fae. She's actually human, okay? So, uh, in order to figure out boy or girl, or human or fae, or white, black, Asian, whatever, I actually put it, I actually put it to a roll of the dice. Literally, and that's what came up. If it worked for the story, I kept it. Otherwise, I re-rolled, okay, until things made sense, okay? Because, just because I want it to be that way doesn't mean it should be that way, okay? Wonderful. Moving on. Now, uh, Detective Monroe... Uh, she is actually very intelligent, um, very capable of handling things on her own. Um, in a lot of ways, she is a reference point for the audience, just as Dorian is a reference point is a reference point for the audience. Dorian examines the world through the perspective of someone who is Fay. Doctor Monroe experiences the world through the perspective of someone who is human. All right? So the dangers that she encounters are similar to the ones Dorian encounters, but um, the way she goes about defending herself and figuring things out is completely different. And she's really quite out of her element here. Okay? But she has her own things that she is capable of doing, and I do go into that in the book, so relax. You know who I, you know who you are. Okay. So, um, she is, uh, obviously no powers whatsoever. Yes, I have my notes right here. Ta-da. Okay. Personality. She is extremely intelligent, very by the book, very standard police officer. She also has kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, daughter. Okay. Motivation is to figure out uh, what all of the strange murders are in Kidron that are going on right now. Who is responsible? Why are they doing them? There's been a substantial spike, and for some reason, it's all around artists. Gasp. Well, we'll go into that in the book, won't we? You'll have to read it. It's available on Amazon. Link in the description, as I said before. Uh, that's about all I've got on Detective Monroe. If you're new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, really does help out, guys. Um, also, feel free to share the video if you would like to support me. Um, my websites will be in the description, viminvigorelli.com and vacantmed.com. Feel free to visit those. Uh, I have merchandise available there. Please do. Okay? And, uh... I'll be back later with another character. I do want to get this uh, series done soon, so soon. All right? You can take care, guys. Bye-bye.